after only one quarterback was taken in round one and no quarterbacks taken in round two with the 10th pick of the third round. The 74th overall selection, the Atlanta Falcons take Desmond Ritter. That's right. He is now the second quarterback off the board. So Kenny Pickett, first quarterback with the 20th overall selection of Pittsburgh, and Desmond Ritter goes with the second. He's the second quarterback taken, number 74 overall, to Atlanta. All right, let's bring in our quarterback, Brady Quinn. No Malik Willis, no Sam Howell. They go Ritter in Atlanta. Is this a nice fit for Ritter and what Atlanta's trying to do now that they've turned the page and moved on from Matt Ryan? Uh, sure, you could call it that. I, mean, I, th I think at the end of the day, this is a good situation for Ritter because he doesn't have to start day one. There is Marcus Mariota there. And with a third-round pick, there's not going to be the, the public or the outside perception that they're foot, you know, forcing him or pushing him into this spot right away. That being said, I mean, look, they drafted Drake London number eight overall. They got him to go next to Kyle Pitts. Eventually, Calvin Ridley will be unsuspended, will come back. And you've got a number of weapons to throw to. And I think in that you know, next year of time, as they clean up their cap space, which, which is really what this is about after unloading Matt Ryan, um, they'll be in a much better position to compete. And Desmond Ritter will be in a much better position to compete as a quarterback. Because as Pete and I talked about earlier in the show, there are some fu fundamental things to work on, whether it's his footwork uh, and, and, and continuing to improve his accuracy. All those things uh, mechanically can be fixed, but it's going to take some time. So I don't necessarily sus suspect he's going to play early this season, but I do think he will get a shot eventually to take over the show. And Arthur Smith, their head coach, does have the ability to turn things around for a quarterback. We saw him do that with Ryan Tannenhill and with the Tennessee Titans. Obviously, Brady Quinn, our All-American quarterback, knowing the position, Pete Frisco. Like, I almost feel like we should have, like, a moment of, of silence or someone should bow or genuflect or something. He said no quarterbacks in the second round. There were people who chuckled. There were people who laughed. <laughs> it was not the first time that happened in that direction. And he you can do that all the time laugh. anyways. There you go. Um, so congratulations. Excellent call by you. But what do you think of Ritter being the number two quarterback off the board? And what do you think about him going to Atlanta? Well, he was my number two quarterback. And I think this is a great situation for him, like Brady talked about. You go there behind Marcus Mariota and probably play five games. Then you take over as a starting quarterback. But you don't have to rush him. And that's the good thing. He can sit and learn. He probably needs to do a little of that. But he's athletic, much like Mariota. He can move. He's much more athletic than people give him credit for. He ran better than people give him credit for. Uh, he was my second quarterback. Great situation for him to be in in Atlanta. Um, what do you think of Ritter in Atlanta, number two? I mean, would you have taken Malik Willis here? Would you have gone with Matt Corral, some people yeah. like there? Would you have gone Sam Howell there? Well, you know, I said earlier in the beginning of day two, I felt like based on how the structure and how teams were starting to assess and look at Malik Willis, that Desmond probably would be the second quarterback to come off the board, and it happened. It just happened in the third round. I think this was an ideal spot for him. If you look at Atlanta, looking at some of the pieces they had been able to add, and then adding a outstanding winning quarterback in the third round, this is a win-win. This is a win-win for both parties involved. I understand Ritter may be mad, guys, that he didn't go as high as he thought he would go, but this is a great situational spot for him to be in, and sometimes that is more important than going higher because now you can be able to exercise the longevity in your career. All right, give me the scouting report here. Look, I, I'm, I don't like quarterbacks who aren't accurate. That's one thing I, I mean, for every Josh Allen who fixed it, the road is paved with 100 guys who couldn't. Is the knock on him that he's not accurate enough? Is there anything else? That's it. It's the accuracy. Look, in terms of leadership, it's through the roof. Yeah. The teams met with him, and they were buying in. We had him on the set at the Combine, and I wanted to run through a wall after listening to him talk. Teammates loved him. Coaches loved him. He loves football. There are no issues with him. Athletically, as Pete mentioned, he ran the 4-5-1. He was the fastest quarterback of the combine. He can get on the edge and run the RPO offense if you want. I think this is a perfect fit. As you talked about me, Mac, yeah. I think you get the coach there uh, in Arthur Smith who has experience working with the young quarterbacks and getting the most out of them. You have to fix the mechanics, and if you do, you got yourself a, a gem. And you this know is what exactly where he should have gone. You know what I really liked? What I really liked noticing when he got picked? He was mad. He was mad. Yeah. I don't want a happy guy. I don't want to be happy I went in the third round. I want to go in there and I'm going to show everybody they were wrong. That's what I want to see from my quarterback. Fire in the belly You're guy. You're damn right. Says Pete You're damn Prisco. right. Desmond Ritter going to get a chance in Atlanta. They're starting the post-Matt Ryan era. 
Desmond Ritter may not start from day one, but obviously he's part of the plan in the future. The Cincinnati Bearcat product now heading down to Georgia. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.